Hello there guys and welcome back to another Dauntless video. Today we're going to talk about the new behemoth that's coming to the Shattered Isles, Codename Crudge. Now back in my most recent podcast, myself and one of my old guildmates Phoenix Artea, we talked about Codename Crudge in a fair amount of detail. However, I felt it was worth revisiting and having its own video to share even more information about this exciting new behemoth. Well, when I say new, Codename Crudge was actually designed via a live stream uh, by one of the Dauntless artists and the community back in 2022, so a fair few years ago now. However, with the developers taking a step back, they never actually implemented it into the game. Now, with a big update coming in the summer, they've stated in a recent Q&A that it's going to release alongside this big update or shortly after, so it's fairly imminent. So first of all, let's just take a look back at what we talked about in the podcast, and then we'll dive into a bit more detail afterwards. During my travels to the Umbral Depths, I came across a very peculiar behemoth. The Crudge is an Umbral scavenger that makes Dark Depths its home, utilising materials from the above world. Living within the wreckages of the skyships, a shelter from the larger predators, it caught off guard away from its home, the Crudge can borrow into the ground and appear as a pile of rubble. Okay, so I remember watching a live stream back those years ago and re-looking at the artwork here. I think um, we're going to have some kind of insectoid behemoth, but one with a very low vibration, very low sound about it. I think it's really great that the community had a say in this behemoth. It looks a little bit of uh, many different behemoths put together. You can see so many different imaginations coming together to create this. And it's very interesting to see. Oh yeah, it's definitely great when the community comes together to create um, something towards the game, in this case, a new behemoth. Um, it's a shame that they didn't release it back when they planned, but it's exciting to know that they do plan on releasing this with or shortly after the update in summer. Um, so, just a bit more about the behemoth. How do you think it'll, you know, how do you think it'll attack? What do you think it's um, going to be doing to us poor slayers who are hunting it? In terms of the way of attack, although it's an umbral behemoth, I can see it having similarities to the spore-struck uh, spore charob with the um, AOE uh, poisonous type damage. I mean, it's an insect after all. Obviously, you can see it's going to shoot some kind of projectiles as well. Um, some kind of sludge. I think I remember reading on Reddit and the develop developers saying, so it's going to shoot projectiles as well. It's going to be quite slow for the most part, but I can see it moving quickly at times as well. I also think it's not going to be one of the most powerful behemoths out there. I don't think every behemoth that gets added to Dauntless has to be so powerful. I think some having some average behemoths in the background is really nice to just add to the world and lore of Dauntless. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, we look back to, you know, the Savite, which was, it's one of my favourite behemoths out there, but it wasn't one of the most powerful. It was just very unique, it was very cool, and it was a great behemoth to encounter just out on random hunting grounds or in escalations. So yeah, definitely, not every new behemoth needs to be extremely overpowered or you know, a huge threat to the Shattered Elves. It's just add, good to add um, more lore and depth to the world, definitely. Yeah, no, I totally agree. I think um, I can see it having similarities to the Spore Struck um, Charog. I think AoE damage and poisonous umbral um, sludge of sorts and projectiles shooting out of it. And yeah, you're right, it'll be a lumbering, slow behemoth, but with that insect... Um, speed about it. Yeah, definitely. Totally agree with that. Great point. But yeah, so many different imaginations together. A big jumbled mess of a behemoth. Nothing wrong with that. Umbral in, in element, insect in type. I think it's going to have AoE damage, projectile damage. Very interesting. Yeah, totally. And here's hoping they actually release it. Um, it would be quite disappointing if it came along and they didn't, you know, they delayed it or something like that. But hopefully they are working on it and it will be added to the game shortly. So first of all, Phoenix Artea kindly sent me a link to the Reddit post that they were referring to uh, earlier on in regards to the lore of Codename Crudge. 
It has been noted that the Crudge has a colour palette of green and blue, something not normally found in Umbral Behemoths. I believe that the Crudge was once a Radiant Behemoth turned into an Umbral variant. However, because of the sharp contrast between the ethers, it would seem unlikely such a shift from one type to the other would occur. This creature requires further research. Based on ancient text findings, the Crudge seems to have characteristics of the Hermit Crab, a creature that was able to bring its home wherever it went. While the Crudge doesn't carry its house in the same manner as a Hermit Crab, the similarity is still something that can't be ignored. In conclusion, the Crudge is a behemoth that usually keeps to itself but can pr prove deadly if cornered and has a heavily armoured shell which can be used for offence capabilities as well. They are best left alone in the depths but as se if seen out of the depths then it would be best to eliminate the threat. Living within the wreckages of the sky ships as shelter from the larger predators, if caught off guard, away from its home, the Crudge can burrow into the ground and appear as a pile of rubble. Using its large fangs and deadly pincers, the Crudge can place large objects in its back to protect its weak and sensitive back. It can also use those objects to attack prey or slayers. I've recorded instances where the Crudge uses anchors and rock spikes that they have attached to their shells to attack prey from up close and far. When the prey is close to death, it is dragged away with the claw-shaped tail to be devoured. Most noteworthy of the crudge are its long fangs and the ooze that comes out of its mouth. Using its long fangs, it can move large objects out of the way. It can't crawl walls like other behemoths, as the sludge that keeps its shell together can break when the weight is distributed improperly. Slayers unfortunate to get caught in the sludge will find themselves trapped, struggling to get out. Those unlucky to find themselves at the mercy of the crudge's razor-sharp and strong jaws, most disturbingly, I would have the unfortunate luck of seeing a slayer getting torn in half with their lower counterparts still being attached to the clingy sludge. Very dark. Different from other umbral behemoths, the Crudge don't use umbral portals to get to one place from another. Instead, they traverse under the cover of darkness to avoid detection of greater threats. However, there have been sightings of Crudges using their tail to create a portal to obtain out-of-reach objects. These portals are not meant to travel, but rather attack prey, unsuspecting, or gather materials for its shell. The eye design on the head crest serves as a way to scare off potential predators. Coming out of the shadows with glowing fangs and a massive eye, the crudge can appear as large a threat to other behemoths, scaring them off before the crudge comes into light. Reasons why the crudge should be of great importance is because these behemoths are coming out of the umbral depths and making new homes in the undersides of islands. As they make themselves comfortable in their new home, by taking out the core of the island, Eventually the island itself implodes, causing total island destruction. I have marked them as a high priority and must be immediately taken care of. They should make themselves known. So quite an interesting read. I love any text, any background information or any fan theories that adds to the depth and lore of the behemoths and Dauntless. I feel like this does a great job of identifying the characteristics, the feeling, the vibe we get from the art style of this new behemoth. It's difficult to speculate at this moment in time, but it is exciting, and I'm very much looking forward to seeing everything that this behemoth has to offer in action. It's obviously going to be umbral and element, maybe some kind of special ability that leaves a lasting attack with some kind of sludge or something like that, or maybe something that would slow behemoths down, something along those lines. In terms of the weapon and armor that you're going to be able to craft from this behemoth, it's difficult to talk about exactly what type of damage they're going to do with the new progression system coming in. But in terms of appearance, it's definitely going to be bright, bulky, colourful, green, blue, purple, ugly in appearance, I reckon. So, I'd love to know what you think about Codename Crudge in the comments section below. What do you think the damage will be from the weapons? What do you think the armour will look like? What do you think the lore will be surrounding this behemoth? Any interesting information, let me know in the comments section. But that'll about do it for today. If you are new to the channel, please feel free to like, subscribe. Until next time, see you later.